We stayed at the Hotel Rio at Fisherman's Wharf the night before our cruise. It's perfectly situated close to Fisherman's Wharf and Pier 39 and is only a five minute drive to the cruise terminal. It's located a block from and behind the Pier 39 parking garage. I know that some people like to save some money by walking from their hotel to the cruise terminal in other locations, although you could do that from Hotel Ryu since it is fairly close to the cruise terminal and the walkway is flat. You might want to reconsider that since it is so incredibly close to the cruise terminal. We're currently driving down Beach Street and we'll be making a short right onto the Embarcadero. Today we're sailing out of Pier 27 and the Justin Herman Cruise Terminal. As we approach the terminal, you can see the terminal itself on the right side. If you arrive early, you will wait in front of the glass portion on the right side of the terminal. People will be coming out of the building on the right and then crossing the street to catch buses or to meet up with their Ubers or Lyfts. There are numbers on the posts that will help your driver locate you. On the right side next to the terminal, you can see signs showing you where to go. There's supposed to be a baggage drop towards the left, but there weren't any porters there like you might see at other cruise terminals when we arrived. But my recommendation is that when you do arrive, stand by that area and a porter might pick up your bags prior to the official start of their gathering arriving passengers' luggage.
Good morning from San Francisco. Yeah, we are here at the cruise terminal and I had been hoping to do a live stream today, but apparently I needed 24 hours to get it set up, so I'm not going to be able to live stream today after all. So anyway, um, here's the ship. And it is currently 9.22 in the morning. And it is very cold, about 40 something degrees outside. Um, and people are still disembarking. We were able to get a porter who said that he would take our luggage in and put it in early through the scanners, which was awesome. Otherwise, you have to stand in this line here, behind me, in front of the building, and with your luggage, um, and then when they're ready to have the people go on and um, load up the luggage, they will um, take your luggage and then we get in a different one. So that's basically what we're waiting for at this point. And our luggage has already been taken, so that's great. That's one thing that we don't have to worry about. Um, so basically we're just waiting. It is a little protected, but again, if you want to get here early, um, you're going to have to wait in front of this glass building um, for everybody to get off the ship first before they will um, let everybody start um, getting into uh, the building itself, which is supposed to be around 10 o'clock, we'll see. Um, there seems to be a lot of people come, still coming off, um, which is great, but um, slow going, but um, it is going right now. So anyway, um, this will be a 15-day cruise to Hawaii from San Francisco. It is a round trip, so we will be four days at sea, and then we will be in Kona uh, for one day, Honolulu for two days, and then Maui for one day, and then four days at sea, and then we're back to um, Ensenada for four hours, and then one day cruising up the California coast, and then we dock again in San Francisco on Tuesday the 11th. This is the last Hawaii cruise um, for the spring, and so um, hopefully uh, it'll be nice. The people who got off this, we talked to a couple, and they said that it wasn't too bumpy, but it was rather cold. So um, hopefully it'll warm up a bit. Today here is supposed to be 57, so that'll be great. But anyway, um, I look forward to sharing my adventures with you on this new cruise. And I hope that if um, you're interested in following, please like and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting um, a lot of videos after I get back from the cruise. And so if you want to um, see what it's like, then please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and we'll go from there. So anyway, I hope everybody has a great day. I hope you're a lot warmer than I am wherever you are. So anyway, have a great day and we'll talk again soon. Thanks. Bye. So here is the taxi line where you can pick up a taxi before it enters the area where passengers are dropped off or picked up by other drivers. As we swing around, you can see those passengers waiting on the left side of the street. That's where you'll go after you get off the ship at the end of your cruise. You can see the big red exit only sign where people are leaving the cruise terminal and we swing around towards where you will enter the terminal to the right of the Justin Herman cruise terminal sign. Those of us who are waiting to board the ship are lined up in front of the glassed-in portion of the terminal. If you need assistance in getting upstairs, there is an elevator to the left of the doors as soon as you enter the terminal. So this is inside the terminal. You will walk straight across and turn left to get onto the escalator to go upstairs. At the top of the escalator is the elevator, and then you will turn right to check in. We didn't have to wait very long before they started boarding the ship. Those people who needed assistance were the first to board, then top tier guests, and those of us in junior suites and above were allowed to board next. 
If you've never boarded a cruise ship before, you generally have to walk up and around these ramps before you actually set foot on board the ship. Make sure you have your princess medallion in hand since you will need to swipe it when you set foot on the ship. Here in San Francisco, you can go to either the left or right to enter the ship. It really doesn't make a difference. You will board the ship flanking the crooner's bar on deck 7, the promenade deck. If you have Club Class Mini Suite or above, this is the entrance to the Club Class Dining, just past the photo and video gallery on Deck 6. So if you're staying in a regular cabin, you would come in here on the left hand side, which is next to Alfredo's here. But if you have club class dining, uh, mini suite or something, you'll be on the opposite side of the deck. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks, bye. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. We're trying to reach a thousand subscribers before the end of 2023 and it would really help the channel. Thanks in advance! The next video will feature a little more of the ship as well as the sail away party. See you then!